Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a review of the brand new perfume from Kate Spade, and this is simply called Kate Spade New York. So I'm gonna be giving you my review, explaining um, what this smells like, and letting you know what I think. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. We are all about perfumes here, so do check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos, I have so many. And if you're regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. Get involved in the comments down below. And as always, I will leave links to where you can buy this perfume in the UK, Europe, USA down below in the description box. So Kate Spade is of course a fashion house, um, do a lot of handbags and things. I am a huge fan of like playing cards, symbols, so I love the spade symbol that they use in Kate Spade. I actually have a Kate Spade bag which I treated myself to last year in the sale and it's this cute little rucksack with the spade logo on and it's super convenient and super durable and their packaging and everything was so nice when I got it. Obviously you get this dust bag and then came in a really nice box, a really nice tissue. And my first impressions of the fragrance are similar. I think the box is really nice. I love this sort of 60s design on the box. And the perfume itself feels, you know, weighty. It's got a nice thick cap. Um, so the whole thing just feels quite good quality. When you go on their website, they actually don't have perfume on there, at least in the UK website. The perfumes are sold through other retailers, I'll leave the links below. I'm not sure if you can get them in the shops. Uh, I know there have been a number of different Kate Spade perfumes over the years, but I have a feeling that they are sort of being discontinued and this is like the new Kate Spade perfume, hence why they've not called it a particular name, it's just self-named Kate Spade New York. So in terms of what does this smell like, so the main note here is actually a wild strawberry and if you are a regular here, you'll know that I love it when the branding of the bottle and the packaging matches the smell. So often it doesn't and it really annoys me. I think it's spot on here in having this pink lid, the pink box and everything that does fit with the smell. So wild strawberry isn't exactly like the smell of strawberries. It has a little bit of a greenness. So imagine like the stem of the strawberry and it's a little bit warmer and less sweet than or normal strawberries, it's less fresh. There's been a new one out from Marc Jacobs called Daisy Intense, where the main note is wild strawberries, and I find that smell quite similar to this, actually. And this also has a cashmere element to it and ambroxan, which are the type of fragrance notes that creates a warm, feminine, comfortable smell. They're sort of a man-made smell that sort of smells like clean and classy and like a walking into a cashmere shop, I guess. And then you have a bit of rose, a bit of freesia. Um, I get a bit of the rose, but mainly I'm getting this warm wild strawberry and then these warm undertones. So it feels very, very feminine. It's a eau de parfum and it's performed pretty well on my skin. It has stayed around, it's staying on the skin. I can smell it on my smell smell it on myself, smell it on myself, I can smell it all around me. I think it's a pretty good performer and um, obviously it's not a super heavy or spicy smell or anything so it's only ever going to be so strong with notes like wild strawberry but as far as those type of perfumes go it's lasting pretty well. I think it is fairly young smell, I guess with the hot pink branding, you know, it's super, super feminine. I think this would be maybe a good everyday smell, weekend smell. I'm not sure too much about evening time, only if you wanted something quite subtle. It's just a nice everyday feminine smell. You do have to like the fruity sweetness that comes from the strawberry note in here. It's that's definitely the main note. I really like it. I think it's just a really, you know, some people might say it was generic, but I think it's just good, ev I would say every day, you know, just pleasant, nice, fruity, everyday smell that has a sophisticated element to it. It doesn't smell cheap or tacky. It smells classy with that cashmere undertone, 
but it's not too serious um, and it's not particularly like offensive. I can't imagine anyone hating it, you know? So it, it would probably do for the office if you want something strawberry fruity for the office. This is like a classy fruity smell. So guys, let me know, have you tried this yet? What do you think of it? Do you prefer some of the older Kate Spade perfumes? Let me know what you think of the range and this new one down below in the comments. Um, but that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!